Lake Street Dive. The song is I Want You Back. Let's take a look at this video. This video at this point is 10 years old. I can't believe it. In case you're not familiar with this band, yes, they are that goofy, and they've been at this a while now. Um, this and this video is not even produced. You should see some of their. Go check out their YouTube page and look at some of their videos. They are hilarious, and they're very talented. When I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Those pretty faces always made you stand out in a crowd. But someone picked you from the bunch. One glance was all it took. Now it's a much too late for me. That's it, man. Just four people that can sing, bass, drum, or j not drums, just snare, and a trumpet for uh, color. That's it, man. That's all there is going on here. And an awesome microphone that they managed to position perfectly, and they position themselves around it perfectly, on a Boston sidewalk. No expenses in this. Let you go. Who does that lead singer remind you of? Uh, her name is Rachel. I think it's Rachel Price. Who does she look like? Is it Rita Hayworth? Or maybe Lauren Bacall? At least a little bit, right? What happened to the drummer's sleeves? Hmm. You know what I really like about this video? I just like it's it's people loving music. They're really enjoying this. I guess, you know, this is my preferred type of video. I just want to see musicians play. I also do like conceptualized videos, you know, very high, highly stylized videos. There's a place for that, but I prefer this type of video. I've seen you. This is how to crank out a wailing bass solo. Once you have the tongue out like that, man, you are smoking. To me, this is so funny. We just located the missing sleeve, or at least one of them. And you know what happened, too, is that uh, probably sometime that, maybe the day before, he was at Old Navy buying a new jacket. And he's like, fuck this jacket, man. I don't like the sleeves. And he's sitting out there in the parking lot of Old Navy, cutting into it with a pocket knife and ripping it off. And then later, or, or the next day, he's out in front of Mom's house at 8 in the morning to shoot a video. And he's like, and they're standing around the mic, and they decide the drum needs to be muffled for him to be close enough to sing. So he's like, I probably have something in my car. And he's like, oh, man, look, there's that sleeve. And he just tossed it on there and threw his wallet on top to keep it in place. 
classic drummer. Rachel is owning that microphone. Oh, now that I see you. Oh, 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 oh. Baby, give me one more chance. Won't you please let me So good. The only reason I wanted to bring this video up now is because 10 years later, they come up with another video on um, a street in Boston with the new improved band. And this band is a lot better. One, two, one, two, three, four. I just wanted to show a piece of another video so we could see him 10 years later. And uh, this guy, the keyboardist, who's not playing keyboards here, he is not only an awesome keyboardist, he is a freaking awesome vocalist. You got to hear these guys. Anyway, I'm going to put their links on my video here, my take of their video here, so you can go check them out. If you're not a fan, you should be.